And welcome back to another episode of Jurassic Art and Customs. Today I'm doing the Jurassic World Legacy Collection Ellie Sattler, and I'm gonna do her up in that double denim thing she was rocking at the dig site in the first movie. So I'm just gonna skip right to the finished look with this video here, and uh, you know, it's not 100% screen accurate, but I am quite happy with the way it turned out. So I gave her shorts instead of pants just because of articulation issues. I didn't really know how to build that up without losing that. And the compi here you see is uh, based off the Lost World design. They're all slightly different if you really pay closely attention, so... I never really minded. Actually, I personally love the fact that they toss these in with absolutely everything. And there is a bit of issue with paint wear. I don't know if that's my fault with the materials I'm using, but it seems even with uh, a good uh, finisher coat, it still kind of has that issue. The uh, overall articulation of the figure is phenomenal, especially for someone like me who grew up you know, I was a 90s kid. We had five points tops for most of the figures and stuff. But with these, you get pretty much full range of human motion and then some. You know, everything's on ball joints instead of just sort of pegged in there as they were 30 years ago. So, you know, that's pretty exciting just for uh, posability and, you know, photography reasons. She can even do the full-on splits, if you so wish her. The boys do it too. Yeah, get her crab walking across the island, if you will. So, you know, the the possibilities are limitless motion range-wise, is my point here. Now, I know I've said it a million times before, but the level of detail they actually managed to get onto these figures, I mean, with the gloss lips and the eyes even, you know, it's, it's well-appreciated, Mattel. It's well-appreciated, even if sometimes you toss in unpainted figures like the compies it's all good the compies actually latch on sort of like they tried to do with the Jurassic Park 3 figures but uh, someone used common sense and figured out how to make that design work a little better <laughs> so they can latch onto your Ellie there she is with the un original unpainted Ellie but you can never have too many Dr. Sattlers, or Compies for that matter. But I've had a good time painting this one. Have a good one, guys, and subscribe if you would like to.